Coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between Kimbo Slice and Dana White. All right, so here he is, the UFC president, Dana White. No shortage of call-outs, as you might expect, since he announced his intentions to compete inside the octagon. And this is really a fighter who brings a lot of different skills to the table. Certainly, he is known as a boxing stylist, very heavy hands, pretty good takedown defense. He is an improving grappler. But I think what jumps off the page for me is the cardio. The stamina for Dana White has been there thus far. It figures to be tested in this matchup here tonight. This guy is primarily a boxer, and though he has a well-rounded skill set, he prefers to use his excellent boxing technique to get the victory. Inside the octagon came off of season 10 of the Ultimate Fighter, and I think exceeded a lot of people's expectations. A big win over Houston Alexander, setting up this opportunity for Kimbo here tonight. When Kimbo Slice is fighting, the masses are tuning in. Let's see what Slice can bring to the table here tonight. This guy has incredible takedowns. The speed in which he delivers them and the power in which he executes them are world class. for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and some differences in reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Mario Yamasaki. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's the Disney Post fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Dana Wise. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of four wins, one loss. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, Kimbo Slice! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. We are ready to go with round one here. So once again, all eyes on the boss man, UFC President Dana White. I know the opponent was saying all week, the boss is going to catch these hands. Be careful what you wish for. If you choose to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon against Dana White, you're likely going to be on the wrong end of the boxing equation. He also has shown an improved cardio game as well. So prevailing wisdom is if you're going to beat Dana White, you have to find a way to take him down. Slip and counter by Dana White. All right, so here we go with round one, and you gotta be mindful of those overhand punches if you're his opponent. You know it's a big part of his game plan every time out. It's his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it here tonight. That's a nice clean shot. Oh, he yeah, missed that kick. Oh, that 
coming. Whiffs on the uppercut there. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. Finds a hole for that left hook. Whoa! He's hurt. He's hurt. He tagged him again. Shots landing on both sides here. Pretty good straight punch for him there, Joe. Punch is blocked. Oh! Oh, he's hurt! Oh! He's now working from side control again. UFC President Dana White gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. 15 seconds to go. He's got the clinch. Well, he's been on his back here, but he's actually doing some pretty effective work. Joe lands a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done there by UFC President Dana White. Stop, stop, stop. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Brittany Palmer doing her thing as usual. Definitely gonna want to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. Just misses there with the left. UFC President Dana White's lower jaw now, Joe, starting to show some signs of swell. Connects with the punch there. And speed, man. Beautiful right leg kick there. Oh, Whoa! oh he clipped him! He's got him! He's got him hurt here. Oh, straight right. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh! Huge right hand! This could be it right here. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, oh he might be out. Back up. Oh. He's hurt here. Big body shot. shot. To body. And he pummels out of it. UFC President Dana White's got double underhooks. He's landing some very good shots here up against the cage, staying busy. Makes it in some shoulder strikes there. Deep breath there and reset. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. He got tagged there.
That was a huge right hand for the victory. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, Joe, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Let's take a look at it one more time. Here's the knockdown, vicious strike. Look at this. I mean, just stiff. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is calling a stop to this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. We're going to win her by knockout, Kimba! So Kimbo slices in the win column, and what a big performance it was out of him here tonight. And this sets him up for a massive fight now moving forward. So a lot of options for Kimbo Slice on the strength of this performance here tonight.